Away from this game, but in some other L.A. news, uh, Tom Pelissero from NFL Network said Jim Harbaugh will be in Los Angeles today to meet with the Chargers about their head coaching job. Obviously, a lot of people thinking Harbaugh could come back to the NFL after a championship season. Those fans in Michigan are living right right now. A championship with Michigan, oh, yeah. the Lions move on in the playoffs. Good for them. It's been a long time coming. Here are the odds for Jim Harbaugh landing spots. The Chargers are the favorites at plus 150. Not a head coach in the NFL is the runner-up at plus 250. I think he's coming back to the NFL, guys. And then the Panthers and the Bears, super long shots can I here. Yeah, can I tell you something? Like, so last night on the uh, on the Peacock postgame show, we talked about this. We talked about sort of uh, where certain coaches might go, where Vrabel might go, where Belichick, where Harbaugh, et cetera, et cetera. And so, you know, charges were brought up as well. Uh, Jason Garrett said, I actually think he goes back to Michigan. You know, I came up with a – I have a I – have a, Oddball one. Hmm. Hear me out. Tell me what you think if this is a crazy idea or not. Don't say Washington Commanders. I'm not going to say Washington <laughs> Commanders. Okay, thank no, God. I, I think thank we're getting God. Ben Johnson. That's legitimately what I, I think. I would it, agree with you. I, th I think we're I getting Ben Johnson. Heard a lot of momentum around. I, that. I think I think there's a chance at Bobby Slowick, given that Adam Peters the new, you know, and how well the Texans have played, and Slowick they know each other from San Francisco. I think there's a chance at Slowick. Belichick I think is still in the mix. Um, uh, but I, I, if I had to place a bet on Commanders, I think it's Ben Johnson. Whenever the Lions run is done. But here's what I'll say about Jim Harbaugh. This is, again, I got no inside sources on this. It's just me trying to read some tea leaves here. For Jim Harbaugh to leave Michigan, Michigan is it's a great situation, right? He he can walk on water there. He's won the national title. He's well paid. They're going to back up the Brinks truck. All those Michigan donors that, you know, it's a very well endowed school. They're going to back up the Brinks truck and make Jim Harbaugh an insanely rich man to try to leave. So the only reason for him to leave is two things. Number one is he wants to leave for a good NFL situation. If he leaves for an NFL situation, I think it has to have two things. Number one is it's got to be a situation where he can win, right? Like he's not going to Carolina or Atlanta, I think, or Chicago where it might be tough for him to win immediately, right? They don't have a quarterback. There. I think they have a quarterback in Chicago, but you know what I mean. Like Atlanta and Carolina, okay. Uh so I think it has to have a quarterback where he can win, which makes sense with the Chargers. Okay, Justin Herbert. But the other thing here is, is that, again, he needs to make a lot of money because Michigan's going to say, like, I'm making up a number, but here's $30 million a year or whatever. Here's $12 million right. a year. Some insane number for a college hedge coach. And so for him, <clears throat> the traditionally, and we'll see if this changes, but traditionally throughout the Spanos family who owned the Chargers have not been one of the more generous families in the NFL. Right. They have not been a team that has spent a lot of money relative to other teams in the NFL. And I know everyone wants to put Belichick on the Dallas Cowboys. But if I'm, if I'm Jerry Jones, I don't move on from Mike McCarthy. And you know me, I'm not a Mike McCarthy fan. But he's had 12 win seasons three straight years. You don't move on from Mike McCarthy unless you're bringing in a big-name coach. You're not... You're not moving McCarthy off for like some hot coordinator. You're not. Right. Which is why the Belichick news make the rumors make sense. But what about Jim Harbaugh in Dallas? He's a big name. Jerry can afford whatever. And I think there's a school of thought and Coach Garrett, who knows Jerry Jones as well as anyone uh, on the planet, Coach uh, Coach Garrett said both on halftime last night on Football Night in America and uh, on, on sorry during the game and in Football Night in America, and then in the postgame show, again, he just said, look, like, Belichick and Jerry Jones have tremendous respect for each other. They have a long-standing friendship. They really, but just in terms of how Jerry likes to run a football team and how Bill likes to run a football team. And by the way, Jason Garrett and Bill Belichick have a relationship as well. They're friends. They've known each other forever. It's just they're very different in terms of their approaches to running a team. And Jason was like, I'm not sure. They they love each other. You know, the, Belichick and Jones have a lot of, mutual admiration for each other, but he's just like, I'm not sure I see that. And so, um, anyway, that's my that's my wild, out of nowhere, I got no inside information, but just trying to read the tea leaves. That's my, you know, long shot prediction, Harbaugh to the Cowboys. Yeah, got a little nervous when you said well endowed, but uh, glad you took it in that direction. Uh, so we look at Bill Belichick's odds provided by DraftKings Sportsbook for his landing spots. Uh, so, yeah, this one's a bit more wide open, Connor. Yeah, so any other NFL team is the favorite at plus 125 because that includes the Cowboys. Keep that in mind. So you're just getting a little extra if there was some wild, you know, surprise here. 
Not a head coach in the NFL is the runner up at plus 175. The Falcons is my favorite one, personally, guys, at plus 275. I've right. heard a lot building around this one for a while. I agree with you, Matthew, as we see the commanders at plus 900. I think that's leaning towards one of the hot offensive coordinators. I would put Ben Johnson as the favorite. I would agree with you. I'd put Slowick as the runner up. And then the Chargers, this is something I've said for two months now, and you just reiterated that as well. Like the, If the Chargers don't pay coaches, Bill Belichick's salary, which we don't know because we don't know NFL coaches, but we know it's a lot of money. Are the Chargers paying what you need to to get Bill Belichick? I mean, he's the highest paid, paid head coach in the league. Like That one doesn't check out. That's why it's plus 1,200. Yeah, you know, and it's weird because there's a lot that makes sense for them. Like, I mean, like, you know, they, they have players on defense. You know, they, they got Joey Bosa. Right. You know what I mean? Like, they've got real playmakers on, on defense, and they've got a quarterback. Right. Like, I mean, you know, so it's like it's one of the best head coaching jobs. It's probably the most, I think, unless if Dallas comes open, Dallas is the best job. But, like, at the moment of the, of the jobs that are actually open, the Chargers are, the I think, the most desirable landing spot from a roster perspective. I would argue the commanders are next just again, because they have a hundred, they have 80 million in cap space. They have the number two overall pick. They have five picks in the top 100 and they have legit players on both sides of the ball. They have some holes, but like, you know, they have an ownership. They have a new ownership group. That's going to be willing to spend money. Yeah. And it's like the lines where you build it the way you want. So you're going to be able to draft a quarterback, which is actually different, but you're going to be able to build it the way you want. That's what makes the commanders attractive. And Adam Peters is really highly respected, highly, highly yeah. respected so. as, as well. Um, I was, uh, you know, I was talking with Peter King, you know, our, our friend and colleague Peter King was out there at the game in Houston as well. And I asked him because, you know, Peter knows everyone in the NFL. And I said, what do you think of Adam Peters? What, what are we getting here? And he just says, like, this guy is great. Everyone in the league loves him. He's been a candidate for it. He goes, and he goes, and I actually sat, you know, Peter wrote about this uh, for his column. I sat in the 49ers draft room a couple of years ago. He goes, every single pick. Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch are huddling with Adam Peters, you know, like the th meaning, like, it's not like those two. It was just Adam Peters was a part of the process. Yep. They clearly respected. He was the real scout opinion. in that building. Yeah. I mean, John Lynch came from TV, not saying he doesn't know football personnel, but Peters was the real scout in that building for a long, long time. All right, let's get to our next game here. Uh, Miami at what do you Kansas think my City. Harbaugh to Cowboys? Crazy idea. I don't mind, but does he want more control, like similar to Belichick, where he's only going to take the uh, operation where he can run it entirely himself? I mean, maybe not. I'm not too sure, but that would be the that would be the pushback. Yeah, that'll be I an mean, interesting combo. Again, if Spanos isn't going to pay, I, I get it, but Herbert Herbert is the one guy that you would want from everyone. Yeah, um, of course. And it is a it is a circus in Dallas, but I mean, it gives him the best chance to win. I mean, it's a listen. It's a great defense. It's You've got playmakers both sides of the ball. You've got and you've got a quarterback in Dak Prescott. We'll talk about that game, but like you've got a quarterback. Yes, you, you, you legit do. have a quarterback. Yeah, guy's going to come third in MVP or something. Yeah, yeah, come on. The new hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.